Hello and welcome back. So this video is going to be a Sephora VIB sale recommendations and wish list video. They just announced that they are having their summer event VIB sale. I'm really happy that they're adding this. I think this is the second year in a row. So hopefully they will continue to do this. I have a whole playlist of Sephora recommendations and wish list videos, so I will link those in this video. I will try not to repeat ones from other ones, so I'm gonna to try to pick new stuff, but I still recommend everything I previously recommended. I just think these videos are fun, but remember, don't buy something just because it's on sale. Let's get into it. I'm gonna start with my recommendations, then I will tell you the products I'm interested in getting. And by the way, this is 20% off for VIB Rouge and 15% off for VIB. And I am VIB, so 15% is not that much. I am fully aware of that, but I really like the Stila glitters. This is my newest one in Sunset Cove. It's a gorgeous pinky glitter, and it has some kind of duochrome effects in it. Honestly, it's kind of hard to tell. These are just type of things that they just look so good on the eye and they're easy to use. I don't work well with loose glitter. I am too messy, but if I can handle this, anybody else can. I feel like I always mention Hourglass in these videos, but I really do love Hourglass and it's hard to pay full price because it's so expensive, but I do think their products are unique, particularly their powders. So this one is Diffused Delight. I bought, I actually bought both of these at the April VIB sale. And so Diffused Light is a very yellow powder, as you can tell. It's really sheer. I basically use this as a face setting powder, and I love it for that because I have yellow undertones. It doesn't show up a lot, but it does show up a little bit. So if you have pink undertones, you know, I don't think this would work. But I like this as an all over natural face setting powder. This is the small size. And wow, these small sizes are now $24. And you only get 0.04 ounces. And in the large size, you get 0.35 ounces. So honestly, if you, this is something you could actually use up. This small is, this is not worth it. I mean, I've finished one of these before of Luminous Light in like three months, but I was just being cheap. I didn't want to buy two full sizes, but cost per ounce, is terrible on these. Anyway, this is Luminous Light though. And like I said, I've finished one of these before. So this one, I would say, this one is like a really subtle highlighter. I don't know if you can even tell that, but I like to use this as a finishing powder to blend my blush, bronzer, and contour, and that's how I used this one today. I do have some favorite foundations from Sephora. I'm not mentioning any in this video just because foundation is really, person specific, but I did recently review every foundation I've ever tried. So I will link that video because that does include a lot of high-end foundation that is sold at Sephora. But next up, I do want to talk about this. Nobody talks about the glow kits anymore. I feel like they kind of fell off the map. The sugar glow kit is still one of my favorites. I am wearing it today. It's really blinding. I'm wearing Starburst right there. And these are gorgeous. I mean, they're so intense, they're so metallic. I mean, there's a tiny bit of glitters in these. I'm just amazed by them. Let me just swatch to so Starburst and Butterscotch. These are probably like two of my favorites. But the reason I love this glow kit so much, I have decluttered some of my other ones because not all the colors worked for me or I just didn't like them all. But this one, I love every color in it. This is Butterscotch, this is Starburst. Like I said, that's the one I'm wearing today. And yeah, that is pretty intense. So $40 for four amazing highlighters. You know, if you like all the colors inside. Again, I don't recommend getting a glow kit or any sort of face kit. I've made this mistake many times, buying face kits that I like, maybe one or two of the shades. That's a bad idea, don't do it. But this one, I love all four. These are some of my favorite highlighters, so I do recommend this one. Alrighty, I do want to talk about a few eyeshadow palettes that I do really recommend from Sephora. Honestly, some of my favorite eyeshadows, though, are way more affordable, like ColourPop and Juvia's Place, but 
There are a few high-end ones I really like. I'm gonna talk about this one first. This is my newest palette and I am super late to the game. I mean, honestly, none of these palettes I'm even mentioning or any of these products in general, they're not new on the market, but they are true, tested, good products that I love. And this I resisted getting because I previously mentioned I didn't love the Urban Decay formula, but they've really amped it up with this one and I love it. It's worth the hype. People have been saying it's a really good palette. This is the Born to Run. I don't know if I said that, but I'm sure you know. So here it is. And this is my type of palette because it has neutrals and colorful shades. I did a really pretty look using these two colors. I showed that on my Instagram yesterday and I've tried out a lot of these other colors. It's really good. I mean, I think if you are like me who enjoys neutral and colorful looks, but you don't want to buy a rainbow palette, this is really good. That's all I'm going to say. You've heard about it a lot. This next palette I actually bought at the April VIB sale. And you know, at first I was kind of iffy on it, but lately it's been really growing on me. And that is the Natasha Denona mini nude. It's pretty basic. You know, I mean, it's just five little shades, very neutral colors, but it's really pretty and I gotta say the quality is really nice, but you probably want to either wet your brush or use a glitter glue for these because they do tend to give a lot of fallout, but the matte shades blend so easily. There aren't a ton of looks you can do with this, you know, for $25, you're not buying the most versatile thing, but if you want something simple, neutral, pretty, this is it. This palette is definitely my favorite eyeshadow palette ever. It's the Soft Glam palette. I am wearing it today on my eyes. It's just really, really nice. It has pinks and golds, which I like because a lot of neutral palettes, they either lean very pink or very gold, bronze, but this one I, I feel like has a lot of variety for being all neutrals, so I can get a lot of different looks out of it. As you can tell, I've hit pan, and on my lid today, I actually combined rose, pink, and bronze to kind of make a pinky bronze, and I really enjoy it. So it's a lovely palette. There are no duds, and there are a few chunky shades in some of the other ABH palettes, but I feel like the ones in this palette are smoother, like the Norvina palette. I love that one too, by the way, and I would recommend that one. But the Norvina has a few more chunky shades. Um, this one, they just tend to be smoother. But Anastasia, I really like their formula. Okay, so let's get into my wish list, and I will go ahead and tell you I'm definitely not buying everything on this list. That would be crazy, but I will probably get a few. And some of these I did mention in, I did a recent Fantasy Sephora wish list video. I will link that. Basically just, you know, me pretending I had imaginary money. But anyway, let's get into what I'm interested in. First up, the Fenty Fussy Lip Gloss. It's $18 and people have been raving about that. You know, maybe some people have said that her lip glosses are a little overhyped. You know, they're just lip glosses, but that color looks gorgeous. And everybody that I've seen talk about it loves it. So I think that's something I would really like because lately I've been into either just like really natural lipstick or just some lip gloss, honestly. So I think I would like that. As far as skincare, I've been trying to really simplify my skincare routine. However, I have been curious about the Juno oil from Sunday Riley for a while. It's $39 for the half size. The full size is $72. It's a combination of nine different cold pressed oils. And I've tried the Luna oil from Sunday Riley. I love it. So I've wanted this one for a while, but right now, summertime, I don't know that I really need that intense of an oil. So it's probably something that would be better for me in winter. So I'm not sure. I've mentioned on my channel also, I am not that into hair care, but I am really trying to take better care of my hair. And there is the Moroccan oil brand, which I have actually tried both of these products that are on my wish list, and I loved them. I just never repurchased them because honestly, I'm super cheap when it comes to hair care products. I'm like a suave person. But again, I'm trying to, you know, remedy that. But the Moroccan oil treatment, which is the oil that is 
They have a smaller size for $15 and they have a larger size also. And then the Moroccan hydrating mask, that one is $35. Like I said, I've tried both of these products and they worked really nicely for my hair. The mask is super hydrating and the oil is really nice and smoothing. Although I do have another hair oil that I have been using lately, which is in one of my project pans and it's really good. It's by Kendi, so I don't know that I need that, but maybe. The next product, you've heard me talk about this if you've been watching my channel that I've been wanting a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I've seen so many people talk about them, swatch them. They are $34 and I've put it off honestly because A, it's expensive, but B, I couldn't decide on a color because I'm like, if I buy a $34 lipstick, it better be the perfect color for me. So I think I finally narrowed it down. I watched a ton of swatch videos this morning and looked up tons of swatches of her lipsticks. I think I want Very Victoria. It says that it is a taupe color and the swatches just look really nice. I mean, it's not too pink. It's not too nude. For a long time, I wanted Kim KW, but I was looking at those swatches this morning and I'm not that into the really pale nude anymore. I used to be. I mean, that used to be my go-to, but I want a bit more color now. And I really wanted Pillow Talk, but now I think, I think that's a little too dark for what I want based on the swatches I saw. So very Victoria. If you have it, let me know because I've never seen it in person because they don't have Charlotte Tilbury near me. There is one at a further away mall, but so I've never seen it in person, but we'll see. Last up is the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. So I used to never wear lip liners, but then I put one in one of my project pans and now I love lip liners. So people talk about this as if it's like the holy grail of lip liners. So I think I would like it. I think, again, never even swatched it. So I think I want Iconic Nude and these are $22. You know, that's expensive for a lip liner because the ColourPop lip liners are $6 and they are amazing. So mm, I don't know, not totally sure. But again, these have great reviews, so I'm thinking about it. Alrighty, so that is it for this video. Again, don't buy something just because it's on sale. I'm definitely not buying everything on my wish list, but I've had those things on my wish list for quite a while. So anyway, we shall see. Let me know, are you going to get anything or are you gonna hold out? And thank you for watching.